I literally cannot believe what has just happened. Good morning, you Donnies. How are you all going? This week, you join me in Hertford, in Hertfordshire, and I'm out on the River Lear, which feeds the River Thames down through London and out to the sea. And I'm out on a little solo canoe camp, and I've got the absolute pleasure of taking out a Campbell canoe. A lot of you in the community on Instagram and stuff will know about these. They're all hand-built Canadian-style canoes from England. And there's loads of Canadian geese next to me, one sec. It's absolutely mint out here today. Couldn't have picked a better day to go paddling. So I'm proper stoked. I've never paddled this river before. And as always, I've got no idea where I'm gonna end up sleeping tonight, but I've brought my hammock and tarp and I've got all the necessary bits to cook up some dinner. I've got a few tinnies with me. And if we do happen to see a pub on the way, I shall be swinging in for a mid afternoon beer garden pint. But anyway, let's get out on the river and uh, see some nature. Quite a strong current on this bit, so it's pushing me along nicely. It is so peaceful out here, there's barely any breeze. The sun is delightful today. I'm just going to bear left a little bit because there's some goslings. There they are. They've cut over to the left now. So I've left Hartford and I'm heading down to Ware, which is where <laughs> I'll swing in for a pint. It's after lunch. Um, I've got a little Cornish pasty as a bit of a snack and I've got a Tezzy's meal deal for later on in the afternoon but you can't not have a beer can you really let's be honest you can't not have a beer if you're out solo and you're out on the river and you're not driving anywhere and there's gonna be a pub like cool oh, that's almost illegal it's not but it is in my world <laughs> But yeah, I'm buzzing mate, I'm absolutely buzzing. It's been a while since I've been out on the canoe and done a little solo camp and a solo camp in general. I'm getting booked up too easy these days. It's something I said I wasn't gonna do this year, pencil in something every week with other people. But as I said in my last video, I've gone from being a bit of a people hater to really enjoying meeting people. So camping will always be a bit of a solo thing for me, especially bushcraft. That is what I like to do on my own. Um, all these events and all that it ends up just being a bit of a shindig, but there's no problem with that to me But um, this is where I'm happiest. This is where I thrive This is where I want to make the best videos I can make or be around the camera in general because there's not other people to occupy and think about and All of that so yeah loving it loving it. I've never been to Hartford either So it's first for me and as I say a first on this river quite a wide river Plenty of narrow boats on here. There's a few locks as well. I think I'm going to be passing at least one lock that I know of. That's the dream for me right there. Narrow boat living. Love it. I'm obsessed with narrow boats. The whole canal way of living, all of that sort of jazz. I've been obsessed with it for years. Just coming up to where lock we are and sipping is that how you pronounce it well this is the first lock of the day nice bit of harris fencing in the shop go on oh, there we go 
straight in there, look at that, bosh. Oh, I see some swans up ahead. And you know it's that time of year. They'll be a little bit bigger now, the uh, cygnets. And that's when the males are most aggressive, naturally. Is when early, early to mid spring, when they've had their cygnets. And they're just there protecting the nest, patrolling the river. And that's what they don't like. You can go back to the same swan, late summer, and he won't even bother you. Dude, that guy has got a remote control grass cutter and it had caterpillar tracks on it. That was well cool. I don't really see the point though because he's literally stood there behind it, radio controlling it along, like flipping. Get a prop on, mate. <laughs> Reminds me of Clarkson's farm. And he gets that big old flipping bush trimmer thing. I'm in such a good mood today, man. I feel brilliant. Just out on me ones, on the river. Nowhere to be. No timings to meet. Nothing. Just in the boat. And off you go. Enough to survive for the next 48 hours should I need. All gravy, mate. All gravy. Lovely river, there's elder there with elderflower, there's willow, there's some poplar, we've got sycamore, hawthorn. One thing the riverbanks do offer a lot of the time is a lot of different species of trees. I see some horse chestnut as well over there. One thing I have noticed already so far is how busy the towpath is on that right hand side. On the left, I don't think there is a path currently, but it's looking like thus far, I'll be camping on the left hand side. I can walk and talk. Oh, I'm seeing more canal boats up ahead. I think what Jason said, who is Campbell Canoes, not far past the lock was the first pub and I'm starting to see signs of boat life again. He said it's an easy mooring. How you doing bud? All good? Nice day for it? It's beautiful mate. I can't complain at all. I'm going for a camp. I'm paddling until probably the sun nearly goes down and then I'll find some trees, sling my hammock up, paddle back the next day. Is that a bar? Yeah. Are you open? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to come and have a drink. I'll pay cash, cash is king. Don't worry about the, um, about the glass. So do you do this a lot then, do you? Every week, mate. Pretty much. I'm not always in the boat, but I'm like, I'm into bushcraft, wild camping, oh, yeah. uh, ex canoeing, kayaking. I'm ex horses, yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you both. Thank you, man. Have a good one. Yeah, have a good have a good See you later. Trip. Sorry? Have a good trip. Thank you very much. Try not to spill it now. What a bottle of Doom Bar, mate. Oh, look at this green Dutch wide beam on the right hand side. Oh, I can see the pub. 
I can see the pub. Even though I've still got that. The Saracen's Head. Right, we'll skip the Saracen's Head. I'm gonna go in this one here. Right then, we're out the pub. Broad bean. That's a beauty, that one. And look at that one, Reg. After it, tiny little one, but proper cool. We're coming up to another lock. So I think I'm gonna pull over and just check the map and see if there's anywhere that looks like it might be campable around here. I've never been in a lock with a narrow boat through it. I don't think I've ever been on a lock at all, ever, to be honest with you. So that was awesome. Sean and Mary. I tried to give them the beer, but they weren't having it. They didn't want it. They might be wine drinkers, who knows. There you go, smoked ham and cheddar with some prawn cocktail crisps in. And then, when I was just sitting here minding my own business, I was just checking my phone, checking a few messages and all that. Uh, I turn the camera off and then this happens. As you can see the boat's coming towards me at quite an angle and then of all times this is when the camera runs out of battery and uh, this is the aftermath. Right, look at what's just happened at this boat. This guy over here in the wide beam on the left, shirtless, he's just come along the river, this side, come real close, saw that I was there, doesn't go back into the middle and he's crushed the boat right up against the bank. Look at the state of it. He said, he, he said, wait there, I'm coming over, so I'm waiting. I mean, look at it. It's battered. And it started filling up with water pretty quickly as well. So once I got out the boat, I had to quickly grab all my kit, camera bag, burger and all that sort of stuff. But you do not expect that to happen when you go out canoeing. I got the bloke's details, I got his mooring, I got a picture of his boat, picture of his boat number, his name, his mobile number, confirmed by him calling me. That, I've never experienced anything like that. His son told me that they've been to the pub and had a skimful, which was a clear indicator of why he went so off course so quickly. I'm so lucky that I've still got my pair of legs. We were there for about 30 minutes, Got all the guys' details and all of that sort of stuff. <sighs> lucky, mate. Unlucky boat, but I'm lucky. Right, I've just met with Jason from Campbell Canoes. He's now walking up the river to go to the moorings to go see the bloke that caused the damage and all that sort of stuff. I've been tasked with holding fort with the boat. Obviously, I've got all my kit here. Jason's had to pull the car down there. Literally not next to the river. A little bit of a walk, but... Now it's just a waiting game. I think the guy with the boat is trying to claim it on the insurance and all of that sort of business, but he knows he's in the wrong. And I did just call him back with Jason next to me and they answered and explained to Jason how to get to the moorings and all of that. So it's just a waiting game for me now, but man, what a bummer. Mm -hmm. 